Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to do a quick video today using my 405V to show you kind of the way that I've set up my build here that I'm using on my own personal device. It's running Gamma OS, which is available. You can get it from the Discord servers, and I also believe it might be available on his GitHub wiki as well. As you can see, I've got 80 systems. I'm not going to bother doing a lot of gameplay for stuff like uh, Capcom Play or things like that because they work well on lesser devices and they obviously work fine here too, so there's not really much to showcase there. GameCube got its own video, and I will do a video for PS2 as well. Jaguar's not really running great here, but it doesn't really run great anywhere other than a high-powered PC from my personal experience. This is new. This is the Commodore PET. I tested it out, made sure it was working, and then submitted a pull request to the main GitHub. It's available now in the Download Platforms section of your Daijo. Same with Commodore Plus 4 here. Also, as I said in the last video for GameCube, I added a Shurika to the uh, platforms for GameCube, which is also available through the download platforms. You just have to go and update your platform through it. I also put a link to the APK in the description of that video just to make sure you guys have the right one. Saturn performance is great, which is important. I also added SNES and Mega Drive MSU 1 to the platforms for Daijo. Along with videos here, which will basically just let you launch a movie or a TV show from your device directly here from Daijo. I'm not going to actually play it for obvious reasons, just showing you that it works. I plan to add Lutro in the last few remaining RetroArch systems, and potentially I'd like to add the Nokia N-Gage as well, as that works on Android. Over in apps here, the Android performance of things has actually been really good. For example, I have Final Fantasy 1 to 6 uh, pixel remasters, along with 7, 8, and 9, as they're all available on Android. And then I run X, X2, and 12 with Aether, which also works well on this device. Also, Fireball Wizard's a pretty good game if you haven't tried it. You get the idea. Cuphead's ported to Android and it works.
This here is the Nokia N-Gage emulator. I don't actually have any games installed at the moment, but uh, I did test one and it worked okay. There's a bit of setup to it, but there's a, a video and also a website that explain exactly how you need to do this. Five years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. As you can see, the performance on this device is quite good. Select your hero. Turtles, let's get our shells and gear. Job breaking news.
silly thing is I do actually have a Netflix account, and um, I put it on this device, but I'll, at least with the 405V, when you try to use it, it rotates sideways, and I haven't been able to work out how to make it rotate back yet. I downloaded ScumVM standalone from the Play Store, and I, I tried to do Monkey Island, and it told me that the engine wasn't available in the build, so I rebuilt it from the Git. Uh, this was a little while ago, obviously. It was for the 505 and the 405M. But this version will run Monkey Island and the 3D games. I'll put a link to it in the description after I finish recording. Well, you can see it booted the game. I probably should have set up the controls before I ran it in a video, but, I mean, whatever. Skyline works as well, but it, I've noticed that it likes to close randomly whenever it feels like it. I'm still investigating to find out why. I actually really enjoy Pinball Arcade, or Pinball FX on PC. You'll be able to find the platforms that I've added to Daijo by going in here. Oh, as well as updating GameCube should you wish to switch. Magisk also comes pre-installed on this build. 
And it works fine. You can ignore that message. So that's where I'm at with what I'm doing personally on my own device right now. Uh, like I said, I'll do PS2 in its own video. Huge shout out for Gamma OS. I really like the build. It's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.